the Sky Eagle drone video of the operation, precautions before operation, take out the drone, first unfold the forward arms of the drone, then unfold the rear arms of the drone, make sure the drone is positioned horizontally before starting. Replacement and installation of propellers, use a screwdriver to remove the screw from the propeller, remove the propeller, take out the spare propeller, note that the letters on the propeller and arm should be the same, then tighten the screw, the replacement of the propeller is completed. Charging the drone battery, pull out the battery from the bottom of the drone, connect one end of the charging cable to the battery. The other USB plug is connected to the charging device for charging. The LED light is red when charging. The indicator goes off when the charge is full. Do not use a fast charging charger. About remote control, the bulge at the top is the phone holder. Below are two folding handles. The phone holder can hold all kinds of large phones. The above shows the function introduction of the front button. This is the function introduction of the top button. Connect the USB port of the charging cable to the charging device. The other end is plugged into the remote control for charging. The middle light of the controller is on when charging. The light goes off when it is full. Indoor-outdoor startup operation and geomagnetic calibration. First show the outdoor flight, press and hold the power switch at the bottom of the drone. To turn on the drone, turn on the remote control. Pairing a D means that the automatic pairing is successful. A geomagnetic calibration is required before takeoff. Press the geomagnetic calibration button on the remote control. Now start manual calibration. First, rotate the drone horizontally until you hear a D and begin to rotate vertically to DR hard, indicating that the geomagnetic calibration is successful. The outdoor green light in the middle of the controller flashes to indicate that the drone is searching for satellites. Wait for the controller light to turn steady green and sound the D to indicate successful satellite search. Next, let's learn more about indoor takeoff. First, switch on the drone. Turn on the remote control. The remote control defaults to outdoor GPS mode. If we fly indoors, hold down the GPS button to switch to indoor mode. A geomagnetic calibration is required before takeoff. The steps are the same as outdoor fly. Manually operate the geomagnetic calibration. Drone gyroscope calibration for both indoor and outdoor flights. Gyroscope calibration is required before each takeoff. First, make sure the drone is placed horizontally. Then press the gyroscope calibration button in the top right corner of the remote control. At this time, the LED light of the drone flashes quickly. Wait for the light to change from flashing to constant. Then the calibration is complete. Camera electric adjustment button function description. The dial wheel at the top left of the remote controls the camera angle to move up and down. Rotate from left to right and the camera moves down. Rotate from right to left and the camera moves up. Basic operation of drone flight, as shown in the video, the left and right joysticks are simultaneously pushed to the outer and lower direction to start the drone motor. You can also press the motor unlock button on the remote control to start the motor. Push the left joystick up and the drone rises vertically. Pull the left joystick down and the drone descends vertically. Push the left joystick to the left and the drone rotates to the left. Push the left joystick to the right and the drone rotates to the right. Push the right joystick up and the drone goes forward. Pull the right joystick down and the drone goes backward. Push the right joystick to the left and the drone moves to the left. Push the right joystick to the right and the drone moves to the right. Description of speed adjustment function. Press the speed adjustment button on the remote control. It can adjust to gear power of the drone. How many D the controller sounds indicates which gear to switch to. The two speeds can be cyclically switched. Mobile app download. Open the scan function of the mobile phone. Scan the QR code on the instruction according to the user's mobile phone system and region. Select the corresponding mobile app to download, then click to enter the download page, click download and install the app. After successful installation, the drone app icon will appear on the desktop. Next, we show the steps to connect to the mobile app. First turn on the drone, then turn on the phone Wi-Fi. Select a Wi-Fi signal with a name beginning with HF. Click to connect to Wi-Fi. Then go back to your phone desktop. Click the drone app icon to enter the app. Then click start flight. You can connect to the drone camera screen. For outdoor flights, 
The connection steps are as described above. The drone must wait for the satellite search before taking off. The satellite signal reaches 9 or above to fly. Function introduction of mobile app. Click the 50x zoom button in the upper left corner of the app interface. Drag the red zoom controller to zoom up to 50x. The gimbal controller is located in the bottom left corner of the screen. Sliding up and down adjusts the camera's pitch angle. Gesture towards the front camera to automatically take picture or video. The first icon on the right is the button of check flight function. Click on the coordinates on the map and the drone will fly according to the coordinate trajectory. There are three intelligent following modes. The first is protagonist tracking in optical flow mode. The second is palm control in optical flow mode. The third is intelligent following in GPS mode. The third icon on the right is the surrounded flight in GPS mode. The head of the drone will take the current position of the drone as the center of the circle and fly around clockwise or counterclockwise. This one in the bottom right corner is the button of one key return. The drone can return and land intelligently. Thanks for watching video.